one of these days I'm gonna have the biggest shed in Queensland and it's gonna have the biggest hoist in Queensland in it so we won't be on the ground anymore Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Get That Bread. Uh, we're in the shed again, working on the nav. Um, it's been a little while. So uh, today, I'm gonna be installing the diff breather kit. Um, I won't go into any like crazy intricate detail with this, um, cause there's about a thousand other videos on YouTube already about installing a diff, diff breather. Um, if you wanna check out JP Capture's video, um, watch that one because that's pretty much um, how I gained the knowledge in terms of what to do on the nav. So he's got a bunch of videos, um, mods he's done to his nav. So go check him out. I'll check links and things so you guys can um, see what it's all about. Um, I thought it'd be handy though, just to, um, I guess, take you through what my thought process is um, getting this installed. The kit I bought cost about a hundred bucks or so. It was on sale. Um, I'll check the link in the description for that as well. But uh, here's the manifold, I've already done it up. Um, I'll throw a video over the top of this one, just showing me putting that together, but um, pretty simple. Um, just got some plumber's tape, wrapped it up, and um, tightened it all up with a um, 12 mil spinner. So that's the manifold, so that's pretty much where all your rope is gonna go to. Um, The whole point is to get this up as high as possible because the factory breathers are in a pretty terrible spot. So um, I'll show you where they all are as well. Um, but first let's get this mounted. So full disclosure, I was in here earlier sussing out where I was gonna mount this breather. Um, also, just while I'm doing this, if you haven't installed bonnet struts yet, do it. Honestly, the best hundred bucks I've ever spent. So um, it is super dark, so I'm, it is night time at the moment. So I will do my best to capture everything. I'm using my handy torch on my phone. So it took me a while to figure out where I was gonna mount it. So I was gonna use brackets and things and try and like come off this this little hole here um, and have like a little bracket coming out so it would sit here away from everything. Um, but what I found, I kept having a quick look around and then if we look down here, that hole right there is literally the perfect size for the bolt that comes with um, the kit and everything that I bought. So, so I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but bolt goes through the manifold, comes out the other side, and it will quite literally fit into that slot perfectly. So I think I'll do that first. I'll get that mounted. So it's a size five Allen key. Fits in there. All right, so next we need to put all of our hoses on and get them from their locations up into the engine bay. So you've got the rear diff, you've got the front diff, and you've got the transfer case and the gearbox. So um, I'll show you what the lines look like. So um, this is the front diff breather line. So this is literally the only one that Nissan's put in a all right spot. Um, but what you'll find, which is what I think I will do for all of them, except maybe the rear diff, is this actually fits inside there. 
and it's a pretty snug fit. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna tape it up as well. Um, and that'll actually sort out this one pretty, the front diff pretty simply and quickly. Um, it's only the transfer case and the gearbox which are gonna be a bit of a pain, but um, I do have a plan for those. So let me just get this connected and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I've got those connected there now. Um, it takes a fair pull to get that out, so it's a really nice tight fit. Um, I am going to tape that up though as well, just to make sure it um, isn't going to go anywhere or anything. Um, but that's essentially the gist of what to do if you're not going to run um, your your hose like right from the from the um, existing points on the on the other on the actual boxes themselves. So. Essentially, it's going to be like extending the factory ones up into the manifold down in there. So let's, yeah, let's see how we go. All right, so let's do the rear diff. Um, let me show you where the factory one goes to. Um, literally, just. In there. Um, you can't actually see it on the video, but you can feel it. So if you stick your finger in there, um, you will feel the end of this hose right there. Uh, but if you follow that, the hose coming off the diff there. So, probably should have done this at day, in daytime, shouldn't I? But anyway, um, so I'm actually going to replace that uh, with one of the little clips for your hoses that comes with the kit. It's pretty much need to make sure this runs up onto the chassis and then it makes it, it'll make its way down into the engine bay, so good times. Um, not 100% how this is gonna come up on film, but let's see what happens. So let's get rid of this factory one. It's floating around. So I'll connect the hose up and I will be running it. Um, I'll probably follow the direction of the brake line because um, that should allow for all the flexing and everything if this thing ever goes off road at some point in time. So um, there's actually a loom that looks like it runs to the chassis so I'll zip tie up against that. So I've just got the rear diff one all plumbed up, so 
what I'm up to now is the transfer case back there and the gearbox. So on the gearbox and the transfer case, they actually pop out just above the gearbox. Now I've got all this um, like guard, all these guards underneath my nav, so they're all in the way. But what I've found is I can just, just get my hand up in here. <laughs> and now the transfer case and the gearbox breather both go to the same point. Just there. So pretty much what I need to do is pull them off. So just behind this loom here. So what I'm thinking is I pull those off, zip tie them to this loom that goes up to the engine bay, and then just tap into them with the new cord. So I'm just hoping that it's thick enough to let the new one go inside it and then I'll tape it up. So I'll just pull one off now and have a look. I don't know which one I'm pulling off, but they're both in pretty much the same spot. There we go. So that should, yeah. So I should be able to put the new hose in there and then follow this loom up. And then I should be able to grab the other one. Ugh. Voila. So that is your two breathers. So for the gearbox and the transfer case, that you can just tap into and extend up into the engine bay. What a time. So I'll get cracking on that now. Okay, with doing fiddly things like this, to be patient. Just remember why you're doing it. That is one diff breather, transfer case breather, gearbox breather, other diff breather install. Man, I am so stoked that that actually worked. Did not think it was gonna be um, as simple as that. It, literally the longest part of that was figuring out how to make it all work and then running the one from the rear diff so 
I am incredibly stoked with how that turned out. So, oh, not bad for a bloke that doesn't know what he's doing. So pretty much recap. Started off with the rear diff. So followed along the brake line up and then across to the chassis. Follow that along like above your fuel tank. Um, and pretty much it gets to a point where you can swing back in and you can meet up with where all the other breathers will come up. The transfer case and the gearbox breather, um, disconnect those at the, up to the top. Um, you can, if you want to do Um, front diff is pretty much just sitting right there ready to ready to rumble and get stuck in so when we come up to a water crossing now I'm gonna feel way way safer with, with this guy sitting in there so um, he's tucked up away not hindering anything everything's nice and neat so um, but yeah guys thanks so much for taking time out of your day to, to watch watch me do stuff to the nav so if you want to support the channel, the single biggest thing that you guys can do is subscribe. So, so if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Um, and if this was helpful, make sure you share it with a friend as well. So that's me done for another day. Hope everyone's staying safe and I will talk to you guys next time. Peace.